A robbery gone wrong over a pair of shoes. Tonight, a Chicago teen is dead and his family is asking why. Good evening, I'm Bob Surratt. Robin Robinson is off tonight. The young man and a friend were walking down a street in Gary on Thursday morning when, according to police, they were approached by people in two cars who demanded their money. Craig Wall has our report live from the South Side where the victim's family is looking for justice. Craig? Bob, that's right. Sergio Panix used to live here on this block. His family says he recently moved to Gary to get a fresh start on life with a new job and a new apartment. Now they are wondering why a simple robbery had to cost him his life. <laughs> Angela Pinex seeks comfort from a relative one day after losing her son to senseless violence. 18-year-old Sergio Pinex and a friend were minding their own business, walking down this street in Gary when two vehicles stopped alongside them Thursday morning around 10 a.m. A man with a gun got out and demanded their shoes and money. He didn't deserve this. He didn't deserve it. It was the other guy's shoes. They took the shoes off the other guy. And he didn't have no money on him. They, I don't know if they took his wallet or not, but he refused to get down when they told him to get down. Pinex's friend gave up his shoes and wallet and lived. The killers took nothing from Pinex, just his life. He would have turned 19 next week. Now his family is planning a funeral instead of a birthday party. <laughs> It's so hard. It's so hard to believe that he's gone. You know, just walk into the stove. I don't understand it. Police and Gary are looking for a purple PT Cruiser and a white Cadillac involved in the shooting, but this neighborhood has no surveillance cameras, and so investigators are looking for help from the public. Pinex's family is looking for justice. There's no explanation. But all I know is, you know, whoever did it, would you please turn yourself in? Because my son did not deserve this. Sergio Pinex was known as a handyman who could fix almost anything. Now his family is wishing that he was around the only thing that could fix their heartache. Live on the South Side, Craig Walfox, Chicago News. Craig, thanks.